Good morning, everyone. I am Dr. Abhishek Samdesi. I am a pulmonologist, and today I'll be discussing regarding how to boost your immunity against COVID. It's been one year since this pandemic has begun, and unfortunately, no particular treatment for COVID has been proven effective. The only way we can fight COVID is to boost our immunity so that we don't develop moderate to severe infections. And I'll be discussing regarding the steps to boost your immunity against COVID. So I'll be breaking down into different parts. How you can boost your immunity is by steam inhalation, by betadine gargle, and I'll be advising regarding nutrition, what to eat, what not to eat. I'll be talking regarding adequate hydration, adequate sleep and exercise, and most importantly, how important mental health is to boost your immunity against COVID. Also, I'll be discussing briefly regarding vaccination. So let's begin uh, the discussion. The first thing is steam inhalation. As per WHO, they don't recommend steam inhalation as they feel that it is ineffective in killing the virus. And most common complication of steam inhalation is burns. I personally recommend steam inhalation to be taken daily at night, especially for those who have mild symptoms, sore throat or cough. This is beneficial because the steam increases the humidity in your airways and this 100% humidity is very essential for your mucociliary clearance to enhance the phagocytic activity, the ciliary motility and the mucus due to this humidity becomes less thick and the sputum that is there is easy to expectorate when you take steam inhalation. I recommend steam inhalation to be taken at least at a distance of one and a half feet do not take the steam directly over it. Mean take it obliquely at an angle. Never inhale the steam directly from the boiling water. And always do not take steam from electric kettles. They are very injurious and hazardous. The next thing that I would recommend would be betadine gargle. A betadine gargle to be used in people who have sore throat, cough, or mild symptoms, or even moderate symptoms of. COVID. Here I prefer betadine about 10 ml in half cup of water and this has to be gargled for about 10 seconds. After gargling, spit it out. Do not drink this betadine solution. Doing this betadine gargle is going to significantly reduce the viral load that colonizes your upper airways. Here we are decreasing the burden of the virus so that our immunity can act efficiently. The next thing that we shall discuss is regarding nutrition what to eat and what not to eat. As per the WHO guidelines, they recommend you to take two cups of fruit, which is four servings per day, and daily eat two and a half cups of vegetables, which is five servings per day, 180 grams of grains, and eat about 160 grams of meat and beans, that is red meat one to two times per week and poultry two to three times per week. What the WHO is stressing on is to increase the protein in your diet by taking poultry two to three times per week. I would personally recommend you to eat at least two eggs per day daily. For vegetarians, I would recommend you to eat a lot of uh, sprouts and soya, which has high content of protein. Most importantly, those with diabetes should follow the diabetic diet very strictly as advised by their dietitian or endocrinologist. Keeping your sugar levels at an optimum level is the mo most important determining factor whether you are going to develop mild infection, moderate infection or severe infection. So always make sure that your diet is under control, have high protein diet, make sure your sugar levels are in control and avoid all beverages, high caffeinated products as well as any carbonated drinks. Next we shall discuss regarding adequate hydration. Now drinking 8 to 10 cups of water per day is very beneficial. So adequately hydrating yourself is actually going to increase the consistency of the mucus so that you'll be able to easily bring out the mucus. The WHO also recommends you to drink tea or coffee without sugar and also they recommend you to have lemon juice which is very rich in vitamin C and vitamin C is required to boost your immunity as well as healing of your epithelial cells. Next, we shall discuss regarding how important sleep is. Why does a person sleep? A person sleeps so that he gets adequate rest. 
so in this pandemic do have adequate sleep and do not miss your sleep or stay over awake overnight those with symptoms of moderate covid having breathlessness high respiratory rate and a saturation maintaining between 90 to 95 kindly consider prone position sleeping the prone position benefits you by increasing the ventilation and oxygenation in your lungs here what you are supposed to do is to tuck a pillow at the level of your abdomen and towards your face it is kept at the level of abdomen so that you do not develop any strain over your back and this elevation actually helps in postural drainage so always those with moderate symptoms of covid having breathlessness saturation of 90 to 95 consider prone sleeping this prone sleeping has to be practiced either 8 hours continuously or you can take 2 hours prone position and 2 hours normal supine posture next we shall discuss regarding exercise now why is exercise important exercise is important because it not only boosts your immunity it also reduces your stress levels and remember that stress decreases your immunity so who again it recommends that you have to be active at home during covid-19 outbreak you can attend online exercise classes the jumping rope you can start dancing at your home play active uh, video games and most importantly you can do muscle strengthening and balance training this is all for young adults for elderly people i would recommend you to walk in your home whether it is in the terrace balcony or even within the hall make sure that you are doing exercises daily whether it is aerobics yoga or whatever uh, exercises the who has recommended or as simple as just walking inside the home is very beneficial so next we shall discuss regarding mental health now mental health is one of the topic that is kind of neglected but we always have to remember in times of these where the news are very horrific and regarding the number of deaths that we are seeing happen in and around when the mind gets stressed your immunity decreases and you are more susceptible to developing infections so you have to keep your mind fit and healthy and how do you do that you can do that by doing meditation daily and you can also start practicing yoga and also do activities extra curricular activities such as painting doing extra curricular activities like painting poetry drawing shading sketching and even cookery or craft work these boost your thought process your immunity it increases your happy hormones and this reduces the stress level and avoid watching too much of media news because that might have an impact on your mental status so always make sure that you keep yourself busy at home by doing these activities so that you are less stressed the less stressed you are the better your immunity next let's talk regarding vaccination kindly get vaccinated until and unless there is some severe contraindication for those with allergies or any previous drug interaction do refer your local doctor before you take vaccines i would want to clear one thing that vaccine is going to improve your immunity vaccine does not mean that you will never get covid you can get infected with covid even after you take vaccine but it reduces the severity of infection so i want to clarify that vaccine is just a immune booster it is not a cure or treatment for covid the only cure for covid is prevention so as the who guidelines mentions and as the media is telling the prevention that we have to follow these days like clean your hands frequently maintain social distance wear mask regularly especially when you are going outside and the cough hygiene also avoid touching your eyes nose and mouth avoid gathering or avoid crowded places and always ensure that you keep your windows open precaution and prevention is the only treatment for covid right now in this video i wanted to convey on the steps to boost your immunity to fight effectively against covid so everyone please do take care of yourselves and your families and do stay safe in this covid pandemic thank you